Hey, I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day. Today I'm gonna to be running you through how you can automate all of your Instagram reels using AI. So this is pretty incredible. I haven't seen anyone else doing this on YouTube. So this is really new cutting edge. Before we jump into the make automation, I thought I would just show you what the end result looks like. Besides trading what's a skill or hobby you're actively working on improving. So that's it, that's the post created entirely using AI. The background is made using AI. The text is using 11 labs and everything in here is fully customizable. So you can build it out exactly to your brand's content. Now I'm going to hit run. So it's going to run through the different scenario and while it's running through the different scenario, I'll explain to you exactly what's going on. So we have this Google Sheets. This Google Sheets is where all the ideas are stored. So if I come into here, I have a Google sheet called automated AI posts and there's three columns. There's ID, there's content ideas and there's status. So what's happening is the status is either going to be posted or not posted. It's doing a search row, right? So you can see right now it's worked through the majority of the steps and now it's creating the video. So in this search row step, essentially what's happening is it's coming in here. It's searching in ascending order for where it can find the next result that's not posted. It is grabbing that information and then it is updating it to posted status. So the next time that it runs, it'll simply look for the next not posted content and continue to recycle it like that. Now, the whole idea behind this post is it's always asking a question because you wanna generate comments and then, you know, like let's say uh, example 36 here, how do you deal with a losing streak in trading? And then your caption in the video would be, mine is taking a day off, what's yours? And so then that'll get people to comment on them. That's the whole kind of idea behind having these questions being asked to other traders in the community to hopefully get them to comment and have your post reach out to a larger audience organically. So I'll run you through exactly what's going on in this make scenario right now. So we have a Google Sheets search row. We've connected that Google Sheets to the Google Sheets search rows module. So in order to do that, you'd click on add, show advanced settings, and then enter in your client ID and client secret. Now in order to get your client ID and client secret, you're going to need to go to Google Cloud Console. So in Google Cloud Console, you'd create a new project when you, when you log in, right? You go up here, new project, then you have APIs and services, or you can search right here. So you would search for Google Drive, you would search for Google Sheets and everything that you that you wanna to connect to. So in this case, we connect to Google Drive, right? You can see I already have the API enabled, but you would go ahead and click enable. Then you would come over here to the OAuth consent screen. You would create an app. Now I'm not gonna run through creating the app, but it's super simple. All you would have to do is follow the steps that are detailed, right? So right here, you can see connect Google Sheets to make. You're gonna add the Google Sheets scenario, right? So you just go ahead, hit add. You name the Google connection, whatever you wanna add it as. And then you need to get your client ID, your client secret. So if you come into credential, you could create an API key. Here's your client ID. If you go hit edit OAuth client, you'll have access to both the client ID and the client secret and you just take those and you paste them in here and then you're good to go. And you hit sign in with Google, you sign in like you normally would and now you have the automation working for you. So you have made that connection. Now you're going to navigate to your spreadsheet. You wanna create it like I have it created here. Your column range is gonna be A to Z and then your filter is set to status where the status is equal to not posted. So that's what it's gonna look for. You're gonna sort by ascending order and order by the ID number. So it's gonna run down that list, find the latest not posted, and then the field type is number and it's going to return one row. Next, you wanna update that row. So same thing, add another connection, locate your sheet, the row number, you would just click the dynamic row number from Google Sheets, search rows. Table does contain headers. And then under the values, under status, you would change it to posted. And now it's going to update that. Now you're going to want to add a 11 labs voiceover module. So essentially 11 labs is a speech synthesis software using AI. So you can input text and it's going to output a video in a voice of your choosing. You can even clone your own voice. In this case, I'm using the default Adam one and you need to make sure that when you choose your model, you're choosing one that doesn't have the STS at the end. And then the text is going to be the content idea, right? That we took from part B. 
So that's what it's going to convert into speech. And then I looked at the stability and similarity boost settings, and this is what they were. Although you can leave this blank and it'll just go to default settings. And then I set it to default mode for streaming latency. Now to make that connection, it's going to be the same as doing your Google Sheets connection. You will just go into 11 labs, come into 11 labs, click on your name, profile plus API key, and you have your API key here. You would just copy it and then come back, paste it, add the connection and you're good to go. Now you're connected to 11 labs. Now, the next thing I went ahead and did is I wanted to make it organized. So if you notice, I have numbering behind my Instagram posts. And so that's just to contain the project in one folder. So we go ahead, create a folder and we're naming the new folder name, the row number from the Google Sheets search rows, right? And then that is it. Then we are going to upload a file. So we are uploading a file to Google Drive. Same thing for the new folder location. It's going to be the folder ID from the Google Drive create a folder that we just did with the file being the 11 labs synthesized speech. We then want to get a shareable link to be able to pass to the video creator, which is called Jason to video. So same thing, we are going to locate that file ID from the previous step in step 12. And then we want to set the reader, the role to reader and the type to anyone. Now this is super important because if you need to generate a download link, which is what we need, then you need it to be shareable on the web for anyone to be able to download. And so that's why these needs to be configured this way. So the next thing that we want to do is make an HTTP request. Now the software that we are going to be using is json2video.com. Json is a coding language. We are going to essentially code. Well, we won't have to, but we're taking code and we're turning it into a video like the example that I showed you. So you're going to click get your free API key. It's going to ask for your email and then it's going to send that API key to your email. Now I've already gone ahead and done that. The next thing to do is to create your request, your request that you're going to send to this website to create the video for you. So here's the URL that you need to enter. This is the URL. You're doing a post request because you're posting the request to Jason to video. Now you're going to need two headers. One is going to be content type with the value being application Jason. The other one is going to be X API key like you see here. And then the value is going to be that API key that you're going to get in the email. The body type is going to be raw. The content type is Jason. And then here is the request content. Now, how can we generate this request content? So you're going to go back over to Jason to video, you're going to head over to the dashboard, hit movie templates, and you're going to create a new movie template. So here's the movie template that I have right now. What I did for this, you can see the movie template here is I have this image. This image is transparent. It shows the logo. It shows the handle of the Instagram. And this is what it looks like, right? So you can see it's literally just 1080 by 1920, which is the Instagram real dimensions. And it is transparent so that it's just an overlay. So we have this simple overlay, we have subtitles. And then in the settings, I specified I want it to be classic, I like this font family. So that's what I chose. I messed around with a couple different font sizes, the word color, I set to white. So this is just hex code. So you would search white hex code, find out what the color is. And then the outline color I set to black. So that's black with a very small outline width, and then shadow color black with a very small outline as well or offset and then the position center. So that as soon as you get it on your timeline, it's right in the middle and you can read it and you're captivated by it. And then I set the max words per line equal to one. So that is what I did for the subtitles for the audio. It's just blank. I just added it in there because we're going to pull that dynamically from 11 labs. And then we have the video, which I added here, right? You can see the video. It's just some cool stock video of charts and stuff moving in the background. And I created that using Leonardo AI, the motion. So if you, uh, if you want to create your own, you can as well like that, or you can just import your own videos and toss them in the background, whatever works, whatever flows your boat. So now that we have this, go ahead, you save the template, then you're going to back out. And then when you click on this, you will have your JSON payload, which you are going to copy and paste into the request content. Now, I went ahead and brought it up here so that I could be able to explain it to you a little bit better. Now, this is the movie and every movie has scenes, right? Think of a movie. 
And then within that scene, there's going to be different elements. And those elements are going to be your text, they're going to be audio, it's going to be video, it's going to be all of those things that I just showed you. Now, if we look right now in scene one, right? Okay, so we specify in the movie, we specify the width and the height that we require. The quality, I actually set it to high. So you would change this to high. And then you have your source video, you have the height and width of that video. So I actually had to blow it up a little bit because it wasn't perfectly 1080 by 1920. And then I have it looping twice so that it's long enough to be able to have my full audio run in the background. Now I also have an image. That image is the overlay that I told you about. Now an important thing to note here is when you export it, this is this is what it's going to show you and this is incorrect. So you need to make that change. So if you come into mine that I have right here, it will show ID type. I specify the width, I specify the height, the position is set to custom. And then if you compare it to what is exported from the JSON video, you have an X, you have a Y and a correction. If correction is in there, your video, your image will not be transparent. So it'll block the video. So make sure you remove that. Then we add the audio and then you want to add in this source and then you want to grab the web content link from the shareable link that we just created right here. Then we have subtitles. We have all of this that we've already went ahead and set and that is it. Super simple. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Oh, another thing right before I close that is we want to make sure the response is parsed. Click yes. It'll be important for the coming steps. So now the video is going to be created. So I have a 90 second sleep timer. So the video has time to create. Then we are going to make another request. This time it's going to be a get request. So now that the video is created, we're going to grab the video. We want to get it. Same thing for the headers, except the only thing that's different here is the query string. The name is going to be project and then the value data project. And that's why it's important to parse it so you can grab the data project value. You're going to parse the response once again. Come on over here to another HTTP, this time get a file. So we're just going to grab that data. So once again, important to parse it because data movie URL. And that is the downloadable link that we are going to need. Once we have that URL, we will come over here to Google Drive to upload the file. We are uploading it into the folder ID that we created. So you see the number 17, 17 when we created the folder. So it's an easy way to, to go and find it. You just scroll down until you see 17 right here, grab the folder ID, paste it in here. And then the new file name is row number completed. And we are uploading that we just went ahead and got here, then hitting OK. And now what that does is it creates the folder it added 11 labs and then it shows 32 completed with your completed video that is fully done for you on autopilot using AI. Now all you need is to come into here whenever you have a new idea entered in, set it to not posted with a new ID number and it will run as often as you set it in the schedule settings down here. And that's it. And that's how you can fully automate your Instagram posts. I would also highly suggest that you have some other sort of branding content to go with it. So it's not just these posts running on autopilot, but this will allow you to fill the gaps in growing your brand and also being able to sell this service to other clients. So I hope you got immense value out of this. I spent a lot of time being able to figure this out and build this. So if you did get value out of it, I would really appreciate if you drop me a subscribe and I will catch you on the next one. Have an incredible day. Peace.